Is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this bitch recording? Oh, what's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grinder, Squirt, BGC, Jack, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one of my bitches. Christian Mingle and the lands all across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Madison, and I'm coming to you loud, live, and always and forever in color from the Queen's Supreme Court. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we need you to get those drinks together, get your seats, and honey, get ready, because these shows are ones for the book. You already know how it goes, girl. You about to go to trial. Ah! <laughs> the Queen Supreme Court starts now. All right now, Maddie Bob. You already know what time of day it is, honey. We are going on vacation. Girl, y'all already know we went down there to that Dominican Republic last year and tore that bitch up. But the this year... We've taken it down there to Mexico, honey. Actually, Riviera Maya, Mexico. And girl, guess who coming with me? Guess, girl. Guess. Huh? You couldn't guess? Well, let me tell you. The cussing pastor. <laughs> that is Matthews will be my guest judge. July 10th through the 15th. Honey, I need you to rush over there right now and get your tickets at www.qs. Vacations.com. That's www.qscvacations.com. And honey, listen, don't meet me there, bitch. Beat me there. I love you. See you in Mexico, girl. Come on here, Pastor. Let's get down to business. The views right. and opinions expressed on this program is just that. Views and opinions. Don't take any of it serious. But I will warn you, viewer discretion is advised. Now, from the basement of a marvelous shelter, it's the Queen's Super Eagle. Well, God damn. Well, hello. Hello, bitch. Wait hello. a minute. I don't even know if it's even. Is we live? Is, is we, we live? live I'm trying to fit. Oh, shit. Is we live in this motherfucker? Hold on. Let me let me see. The only reason, the only way I know we live is this motherfucker doing this shit right here. Mm. It's just somebody. Ah, it's somebody that beat. What that beat make you, you do? It just make you want to move. Well, it make me want to fix a drink. It make you want to do your, your Wait, shows. it make me want to pull me up a little tequila. A little tequila sunrise. You know, a little it's tequila. It's all the time I can dance this song when I come over. Oh, hey. What you say? What you say now? What you say? What you say? What you say now? What you say? What you say now? What you say? What you say? What you say now? Ah! What you say? What you say now? What you say? What you say? What you say now? Catch the beat! Catch the beat! Now come on, do it. You gotta take a sip and catch the beat. You gotta shit with me. It's like this. It's like, oh, ow! I wanna do that too. Ow! Ow! Do a split. Do a split on the dick. Say, ow! Do a split. All right. 
to bounce my titties, but I ain't got on no bra. Oh. And I don't you need. Get, how you going down? Listen, I ain't got no bra on. Uh, ooh, ooh, sir. No, you want to do that? I got some. You could do that too. Hold on. That's a big ass booty. That's a big ass booty. I got some. You could do that too. Hold on, cause I'm finna see if you could do that to my new song. Hold on. I'm tired of it. Yeah, this booty gotta go. Nah, don't go yet. I got to see if you're going to be able to do it to my new song. Hold on. Craig, y'all heard my new song? Yeah. Can't even dance. Y'all heard my new song? Here it go. Oh, yeah, Oh, I love Can you get it to this? I got to see. See if you got it. See if you can get it. Let me pop this ass like dynamite. Boom! You know what I'm about to buy. Oh! It's the meat. Turn around and throw that ass this way. Oh, man. Throw that ass this way. Let me see. Throw that ass this way. It's called Pop That Ass. <laughs> Pop That Ass. Pop That Ass by T.S. Madison, honey. It's, so it's currently available on iTunes, and I will be shooting a new music video for that. Dates are coming well, can soon. Can I come and be oh, a part? Oh, you are definitely going to be in that music I video. I want to be in it. You will definitely I be in the music. I have to be in it. You must I gotta be, be in that. Yes. And speaking of that, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back Period. to the bench, our permanent rotating guest judge. Permanent. Okay? <laughs> Miss Shakana Jones! Oh my God. Shakana, let me tell you something. Hi, y'all. I don't think people understand. I don't know who the fuck I'm going to be tonight. You don't know who you're going to be tonight? No, because you know I'm a lot of people. Girl, you hiding the motherfucker right now. I'm hiding a motherfucker. You done had, you right on this Right now, all. I shoot a bitch in it. Why? Hey, hey. Okay. Pop that ass like dynamite. <laughs> Period. 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 And let him see how. What's up, sir? <laughs> 
So she was hiding the motherfucker down so again. Drunk. Every time I come over, little man. What happened? She makes me a drink. Uh huh. I don't know what be going on with these drinks. Okay. But I know they get you lit and lit in five seconds. It's, it's but like, you also smoke you... a marijuana joint when you come here too, girl. Why would you say this to me? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not marijuana. It's a new port. It's a new port for me. <laughs> well, you know what? Fuck it. You are. I'm grown. I smoke weed, and I've been smoking weed for a long time. <laughs> and I don't have a goddamn thing to hide from you guys, okay? Yeah, yeah. The marijuana calms me down. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know? A joint a day. Yeah, you know? But to the kids out there, don't get high. Don't be a follower. I was a follower. A girl in my school, in high school, got me on marijuana. It wasn't good. We'll talk about that in the newsroom tonight. Okay, cool. But I just wanted to let them know. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you are not... If you're not already following Shekana Joe on her YouTube channel, Shekana Joe has her own YouTube show. And here is a sneak peek of her YouTube show. All right, everybody. So make sure you subscribe to Shekinah Joe's YouTube channel, honey. And I'm gonna be on your show soon, you girl. You gotta come on there because this is testimony. You got inside of you. I need the word of him. That's right. That's right. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, honey, we tired of sitting outside the courthouse, bitch. We finna go on in the court and, and take these bitches to trial. Mo, take us to court. Well, all right. Wait a minute. Where you know what I didn't do? What? Hold on, Mo. Leave us in court. We done been drinking and smoking. But what we gonna do right now, our show would not be <laughs> possible <laughs> without our sponsors. Before we go into that, let's get a word from our sponsor. What's up, everybody? This is your girl, T.S. Madison, honey. And tonight's show is sponsored by www.adamandeve.com. Like I always say, get it? AdamEve.com. <laughs> Go ahead over there and get you an item right now. Girl, it's 50% off. Now, it's only one item that's 50% off. However, they ship to the U.S. and Canada for free. Now, some exclusions or some restrictions apply. What you need to do is use code M-A-D-I-S-O-N. That's code MADISON, M-A-D-I-S-O-N, to receive the 50% off. Free shipping handling, honey, on one item. That's www.adamandeve.com. What are you waiting for? Get your toys. All right. You like yeah, you that like that fuchsia cute. I had on. That fuchsia was Oh, that ass like dynamite, bitch. Boom, get on my motorbike. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we're here in court. So, honey, let's go ahead on and get this motherfucking shit started. Let me see if this is right here. Oh, that ain't it. Let me see. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, let's get this shit started. Let me see. Oh, my God. All right. So, first up on the court ledger, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, honey, we're calling all niggas to the bit, to the stand. All the niggas. All the niggas. Well, I'm not a nigger. No, I know you're not an NG, not an ER, but a, but a GA you I'm are. I'm not either one of them. I'm American. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's talk about the American, the American father. Uh, <laughs> speak up. <laughs> let's talk about the American father. All right. Wendy, Wendell. Wendell is not a goddamn father. Bartholomew, Orenthal, Rufus, Clyde, Theodos, Pookie, Eldover, James and the Giant Peach, Hezekiah Walker <gasps> Williams III, by way of being bishop of the Beulah Baptist Church by the side of the road in, in Hepsiburg County. I know you ain't just read Wendy like that. I ain't read her. I just called her name. Her name is Wendy Williams. Uh-huh, I know. You done gave it like a thousand names. She got a thousand names. She do a thousand things, you get a thousand <laughs> names. She my friend. I know that's your friend. That's why we need. To, that's why I needed you to try this case with me. Wendy why Williams, you want me to try it? Wendy Williams is being brought up on charges, honey, that she had offended the, the LBGT, all them letters community. What did she do? So Wendy had went on record of stating one day in her show. Quick, do we have any of those clips? No, you know we can't show. Oh, we can't. Clips. Okay. Yeah. So what Wendy did was she 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 basically said that she wanted to have a woman's day. Mm. Like, can women just have a day? And we so tired of these men wearing skirts and stuff like that. You know. Can we have a day? You have a day, aren't you a woman? I'm saying, can. What? But aren't you? But she kind of. May I ask you? Aren't you a woman? 
Aren't you, excuse me, aren't you a female? I'm a little boy. I want to wear no dress. There she go. She go. <laughs> there she I go. Fuck. Is all I'm saying. I just prefer my jogging pants. But, that, okay. This is, the, here's the, and here's why I needed you here to do, because I know you're very controversial in your thoughts and, and topics about the situation, and I love to have you here to say, to, to try this. Women... In this, there were a lot of women who were on her side who who, underst who understood the context in which she stated it. I understood the context in which she stated mm -hmm. it because a lot of women makes those, make those st same statements. Like, damn, can a woman just have a woman's day? Everything ain't about the gay men wearing a skirt. Why you gay men you can't do what I do. I can have I can ovulate every 28 I days. I have a menstrual uh, cycle. Uh, right. I, I go through menopause. All the same. And, and this is my thing. We know that. Mm -hmm. Well... Well, I know that about you. Mm -hmm. I know this. You understand what I'm saying? And we know that. The gays went on a rampage and was di digging into her motherfucking ass. Well, all I got to say is this, you know? Yeah, but just talk because you, you, like, you loaded. You I, like... All I have to say is this. Uh -huh. We are in a day and time where boy, boy pussy costs more than girl pussy anyway. And, you know, I guess y'all just come to live the best way y'all live. Ooh, the and girls or the boy, I, I, or the boy I, I, pussy? The boy pussy, the girl pussy, because, yeah, it's nothing we can do about it. It's, it's, you know, as women, you might as well just let it go. But the implication was that all gay men wear... Yeah, that, well, that, yeah well, it, it was, that was definitely one of the implications that all gay men all wear... Straight men wear all straight men wearing purses now, too. <laughs> Shekinah, kind of wear straight men, you know, wearing a pocketbook. All of them wearing them little man bags. Skinny leg jeans. And they wear skinny jeans, they wear heels. All the designer shoes now got a big-ass platform on them. What you talking about? Well, European men been wearing. Well, I'm just letting you know. I'm not throwing any shade. I'm just saying the, the, the men that's supposed to be the men that's supposed to be real men these days. They got bags. They wearing purses. I mean, man bags. That's what they call. Well, this and this is why not. Well, I'm assuming that not everybody, not not all LBGT was was really offended. Like, well, they were, but. Some straight people possibly was offended by that too, cause they might like their man purse. They love their man purse. Or they might man like they look, they the look they look heel and, and they cute. And they do. And their skinny jeans. It's the new swag. So Wendy was out of she was out of pocket for that. Well, now I, I mean, did. She was just speaking what she felt. Everybody has their opinion. We can't kill people for their opinion. But I ain't killing them. But what I'm saying is I'm saying, but we can't kill people for their opinion. You know, when something else in in this in the in, in our world all together, you know, in the communities together, like scoot up microphone, it, it go it kind of goes both ways with me because I've been in situations where you know I've heard gay men dragging women. Yes, they do do that, and, and they will talk about your ass like a motherfucking dog. Yes, I we am. just seen a bitch come to my house and terrorize me and threaten me, and I don't even know the hoe. And that was a whole gay man, and I I don't even know this person, <laughs> and I I, 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 I never mm -hmm. met. Hold on. Let her I, tell a story. I never, I never met these people. I'm, excuse me, I'm spitting, but I never met these people. I don't understand why would they feel the need to want to come attack me, but this is a whole gay man. Like, for real. And cuss me out, and I never met this person a day in my life. I don't know these people. And it, I was I was very hurt because I, I support the gay community. Yes, you do. I support the trans community. Yes, you do. I support it all. So for you to come and come attack me, why the fuck is you attacking me? I don't even know you. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. You filming my business while I'm in Las Vegas. Right. But this is what I'm saying, Chicago. But I'm just saying, what about that, Maddie? Uh, it's, it, what about that? <laughs> what about me being attacked, you know, from the get from, from 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 that girl boy? And I have, I don't even know him. But this is the thing, Shakara. The, the thing. The thing about What's this. Up with that? The thing That's about what's going this. on now. Why did I have a man at my door recording my life? Somebody don't forget where you come from, motherfucker. I'm still there. How I'ma forget? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't get that, honey. But, Answer that. You talking about Wendy? Fuck that. I want to know what's going on with this. I don't know. Oh. Because I don't know those people. But well, you don't know him. I don't know him. But the motherfucker came after me, and it was a gay man. Oh. <laughs> oh. And if I would have went off and started calling people out of their name and shit, then I would have been gay bashed. I should kind of hate gays. The bitch is a fucking hater. <laughs> So, okay, so basically what you're saying is that everybody's entitled to their opinion, Period. for one. And two, that Wendy, that the thing for me with the errors in Wendy's ways, because we're talking about Wendy, the things that there was errors in Wendy's ways was that Wendy was just speaking out of a context of... Of, of, of women. Of women. And the error of that was, girl, no one is taking anything away from a woman. Right. She kind of, I can't take any... Listen, my, me putting on the dress... And you being a woman, it does not take away from you being a woman. Right, and me putting on a strap, I get it. <laughs>
You putting on a strap don't take away from a man what it did. What it did. And what I'm saying. So it does not. So this is the thing. This is what I want to say. And when did have? We know Wendy Love Gays. Stop it. Who told you that? No, she do. Like her hairstylist was a gay man forever. And, you know, you can even just tell how she act. How you don't want but this that ain't no goddamn woman shit. That come from the gay community. How you doing? <laughs> like, come on now. I'm just being real you right are... now. So we know Wendy love gays. We should not do this. She just made a comment, comment that she probably she should learn. She know she shouldn't do shit. She should learn how to hold and fold them. Because when you hold and fold them, you be hurt. All right. Well, let's hear. Let's hear. Let's hear her her apology. Yes, let's hear her apology. Um, I I'll start by saying I apologize. I did not mean to offend my LGBTQ plus community. Uh, on yesterday's show, uh, I did not realize until I got home and I watched the second running of our show here in New York. And I always watch when I can to critique my delivery or you know the cameras the lights the, the, the you know the audience the the camera like i i'm very persnickety about how i do my show and one thing that i can tell you right now is that i never do the show in a place of malice uh i understand my platform with the community from first grade to intermediate school to high school, to college, to radio, and now to TV. And um, I didn't mean to hurt anybody's feelings. I'm just having a conversation. If you know me long enough, then you know. Bon vivant. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds fabulous. In my mind, it means live and let live, bon vivant. And I live and let live every day. Life is too short. I'm 55 years old, and maybe I sounded like your auntie, your mother, your big sister, or somebody out of touch. I'm not out of touch, except for perhaps yesterday, by saying what I said. So I deeply apologize and I deeply appreciate the support that I get from the community. <clears throat> I will do better. I appreciate you supporting me. Thank you. Bye. Okay. I mean, there was a publicity, a public apology put on by her PR team. She don't. Ow. She didn't really mean that motherfucking shit. Because for one, she singled out a gay person in the audience and told them like, and, and just kind of directed know, that listen. shit towards can them. Can I ask you something? Can I ask you? All something? gay men don't wear pocketbooks. Okay, that's cool. But can I ask you something? Yeah. All gay men might not wear pocketbooks. But he ever thought about that her ex husband could have been gay, and she was dealing with some shit. Like I'm just saying this allegedly. And have you ever thought about how many women in the world that deal with men, and it's not a gay man's fault or whatever, but they deal with married men, married women who be with gay men, and you don't even know your man is a down low. He's fucking somebody else on you, and then you find out. I mean, do you ever think about that? Do you ever think about... But, this, but there's but no reason to hold bitterness about, to... It's not about the bitterness. It's just about what is a woman worth? What is she worth these days? Nothing. <laughs> she ain't worth a goddamn thing. All that bitch can do is have a baby these days. Cause they don't want them. They only want them for the baby and they go back to their men anyway. But Shakana, every So man you gotta understand some of these women are bitter about this shit. But they bitter that they man wants some dick over their pussy. Get but, out your feelings. Be thankful. God damn it, cause that's what's going on now. But Shakana, every man isn't gay. At 90%! Oh, no. oh. You a goddamn lie. I'm sorry you single. You better get out here and mingle. What <laughs> the hell is you talking about? She, she, she said she's sorry. Okay, we're going to have to, we're, we're, when it's time for us to do it, we're going to touch this subject back in the we news. We got room. to, we got to touch this subject some more because I want to talk about it. I want to elaborate. Well, I mean, do y'all. Everybody need to be able to come to a center understanding of what the fuck is going on. Women. Right. What kind of understanding? A center. Understand. <laughs> what was that? Under, what kind of, what kind of understanding? What kind of understanding? <laughs> I think I said central. 
A central understanding yeah. of what's going on. And that that shit makes sense, I know, but we need to come up with well, something that's going on. Because guess what? You got a lot of women hurt. You got a lot of men hurt. We're just a bunch of fucking hurt people. And at the end of the day, it's so many women hurt because they can't even get a man. Can't even get a fucking man. <laughs> but you can see Paul and Peter walking down the street. But that, but that's no reason. I don't want to hear it, man. But that's no <laughs> reason. It is no reason. The point for, is fucking close. I don't want to talk about it. No reason for anybody to be bitter because they you can't bitter, get a you man. You can't get no dick. But Paul walking down the street with Peter and they happy. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought the man's supposed to want to be with us. They want to be with him. You know, yeah, okay. Well, that means you might well join the band. Go gay, too. I don't want it. I want me some dick like you. All right, then. Well, we just got the share, then, if ever you feel it. Every I, man is not gay. We're we going to talk about this in the newsroom. But for, as far as Wendy Williams, I'm really not into Wendy, the apology. I, love you. I know you love her, but I'm really not into the apology. I feel like it was a PR stunt. I feel Wendy, like she, they want you to go on your show and say you're sorry. I feel like she meant every word she said, especially with her coming from the commode. Wendy, you know the gays are running the world. She was sitting there Wendy, on the commode talking about it like Wendy, it wasn't shit. You know the gays are running the world, Wendy. We can't say shit, so shit. You can say stuff, but you got to make sure you understand what hey, you're saying. Hey, everything with the gay community is a rule. You better not call a gay motherfucker gay. Bitch, you're going down. You better not say, you're going down. Hey, I'm telling you, it's like you're going to jail. You better not get out of line. But the gay person can get out of line with you. No, they can't. Y'all women, it's a man's world. I've been telling y'all bitches this shit forever. It's a motherfucking man's world. Now, it's man on man, and they running y'all bitches. I'm not a part. I don't want a man. I'm single. I'm cool. Period. It's a man's world. James Brown said it. All y'all bitches can do a battle cheering. They don't want y'all. They don't. They want you to have a baby for them and they man. Period. <laughs> <laughs> now, we definitely going to touch this again on, we'll in, the touch newsroom. It, in the newsroom. Well, right now, we finishing up with Wendy. Wendy, next time, tell your apology on your show and not from the commode. That's the way I feel. Also, know that, Wendy, oh, that I love you. I know, I know going, you I know do. you're going through some things, sister. I'm sorry. I hate you said it about the gay community. I fuck with you. Right, I, I know. I fuck with you too. And we understand. We just want to, Maddie wants a better apology. Right. Yes. And I want her to actually get some of those those cold those cold presses and those hot heating pads and stop. wrap them around those ankles. You better goddamn stop it. You better stop fucking with Wendy. That, Wendy been bringing y'all yeah, laughter for all these years. You got to put a little respect on them. That's why I didn't call a certain thing. Well, I'm happy you didn't. Wendy, we love you. We definitely touching this back in the news. We definitely praying for you. Mm hmm. It's a lot of pressure being on this show. I keep people. It's just the, just the same amount of pressure on those ankles. <laughs> you better cut your shit out, man. <laughs> Next up on the court ledger, before we get back to the newsroom, Tamar versus Lonnie Love. Now, Greg, what is the ins and outs of this? I thought this was over. Why would you have me I thought it was over all too, this? But one of Lonnie's what is going on friends. with you in these topics tonight, Mazel? Well, because this is what's going on in the world. Tamar versus Lonnie. Okay, here's the thing. Tamar versus Lonnie on what? That shit ain't be beefing. Lonnie okay, but you the, know Lonnie. Lonnie's on the real. She got a job. Tay's moved on, living her she life. She has. However, has this person, which was Lonnie Love's friend, friend and writer or whatever, yeah. stated that she was there and Lonnie... Confided in her. Confided so in her. She was trying to get. Yeah, and son, email someone. Tamar has always felt that way. Right. Yes, and she has. Always defended. Lonnie have always true. said that she didn't because it would make Lonnie look lame as fuck as she did. Yeah. But Tamar have always felt. I this understand way. that, but this girl coming forth and she's actually. How we know this Lonnie friend? Right. <laughs> so play it. Do we have it? Yeah. So let's play it. Wait, hell, cause she said that bitch don't look like she hanging with Lonnie. She <laughs> said that she only wanted to be the only ghetto girl on the show. And she was trying to get rid of her off the show. Now, another chapter in your um, comedy experience as far as with names and people with uh, status, if you will. Mm -hmm. Lonnie Love, she's mm -hmm. from Detroit as well. Yep. Did you guys know each other in Detroit? No. Okay. No, I didn't know her in Detroit. How did you uh, first meet her? I met her on the comedy circuit. Okay. You know, and doing comedy clubs all around L.A. I end up meeting her. Mm -hmm. You guys hit it off like instantly or? Um... Not really. We were just we just kind of passers by at the beginning. Mm -hmm. We were just kind of passers by, and then um, when I went on tour with Cat, um, we kind of was close, a little closer. Um, I, you know, took her to the Universal Amphitheater when we did that. Um, I've helped her a few times. So basically, what is this woman's name? Cookie Hall. Who? Hull. Yeah. Last Cookie. name Hall. Hall. Yeah. First name Cookie. Yeah, first name Cookie. Hall. 
I just know her. Cookie, you too cookie. motherfucking old, Cookie. But this First is... of all, you too motherfucking old, Cookie. <laughs> you too motherfucking old. Okay? If you ain't found your niche yet, I don't know what your issue was bringing this old shit mm -hmm. that was already dead and buried. Okay. It ain't gonna get take my back on the show because you telling us about what Lenny did. You ain't did never opened up a bag of motherfucking worms. Some of y'all folks need to learn how to let go and let God. Why would you bring with this old ass shit? But I'm so tired of hearing about and it. And here's my thing. I I don't I don't get credit to people who who come why you wait six or seven months later right. you six or seven months three years or whatever but why do you wait this long period of time and then you come forth like oh this happened bitch why you ain't say it then why you was in on the motherfucking shenanigans and you were talking about it too bitch that's what it is so i so i don't find any any mo let me say this any bitch mm -hmm. that comes forth with some shit five seven three years right Bitch, I don't want to hear it. Bitch, it ain't motherfucking valid. Bitch. It ain't valid, bitch, because you wasn't speaking then, so what the fuck is you saying some shit for now? Amen. Dismissed. Yeah. Next up on the court Stop ledger. Stop being all in municipal. <laughs> <laughs> I know you may be bored, and you look like your girlfriend ain't doing you right, but it's okay. Next up on the court ledger, Candy Burris. Lord have mercy. An unknown <laughs> male... <laughs> Walked into Real Housewives of Atlanta star Candy Burst, mm, mm, popular Atlanta restaurant, the old lady game, and shot three people. Mm. Mm. According to the Atlanta Journal Constitution, on Valentine's Day night, while several, I mean, several, <laughs> while several people <laughs> were celebrating the, were celebrated, well, when did Valentine's Day become a holiday? Right. Okay. Well, yeah, a holiday. We're celebrating a holiday with a night out. A man, mm. a man mm. came into the OLG location in East Point. East Point. East Point uh -huh. targeting another man. No. After firing multiple shots. How many shots? How many? Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> boop. Multiple shots. <sighs> the man Ooh. also hit two innocent bystanders who were taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. Oh my God. Now we got a statement from Candy Burris herself. You want to read this in Candy's tone? This is why. This is why you read it. This is why I'm you don't not, want to read this in Candy's voice. I can't take it. This is why I'm not black anymore. This is why I'm only American. Now you I know, don't know how this came out, Korea, because it ain't okay. I right. read it. Candy said, "Go ahead, push it over." Yeah, Candy is heard about this. Why the fuck would y'all take y'all ghetto ass in that girl restaurant and do that? Listen, she She's said, "My family and woman. I are truly saddened by the unfortunate events that occurred at the Old Lady Gang Camp Creek on the evening Email. of February 14th, <laughs> an evening that was meant to celebrate love, unfortunately turned into something quite different. Our prayers, thoughts, and thoughts go out to the individuals who were harmed." or in any way negatively mm. impacted. We are aware that uh, this matter is being actively investigated by law enforcement, and mm -hmm. we are cooperating with law enforcement to bring to, injust to justice those in involved. As African-American business owners, it has been our goal <laughs> to invest in our community by bringing jobs, quality dining, and a positive experience to the greater Atlanta area. We hope that you know and understand that the acts of violence that occurred yesterday evening do not in, it do not <laughs> in any way serve as a reflection of OLG or its values. We appreciate you. All the love prayers that come our way and encourage anyone with any information regarding any aspects of any of these events occurred in this motherfucker. Call us right now in the law enforcement <laughs> as soon as you can. Let me tell you something. Now, Candy, I like you. I like I do. you too, Candy. I love you. I, I, I like you, my girl. But listen, to the people who come up in people business. Say it loud, because you low. To the people that come in there and folk being there with this stupid shit, grow up. Right. You know, Candy didn't desire that. And whoever you were shooting didn't desire that. If they didn't want you on Valentine's Day, fuck it. You should have wanted to fuck somebody else. <laughs> don't go in there and fuck up them folk date. What y'all don't understand, you're single till you're married. I keep telling you that. That mean get out your feelings, right? Mm -hmm. That mean if I'm single till I'm married, if I am fucking you, I'm not in my feelings. Because I'm single, motherfucker. We ain't got no strange attached. Yeah. Don't you agree with that? I do agree Because there got to be something going on, like some domestic shit for somebody to get shot Valentine's Day, a man walk in. I mean, come on, nigga, you're weak. Well, child, first of all, they... Then you done shot three, three people and all? 
They, 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 they're serious. Them, they greens right. them greens weren't that dry. And Damn. And they, and they lock told your me that macaroni up. was is all right with a little seasoning salt. They put food good. Shut up, Maddie. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Now whoever shot them folk, now you are gonna be where you wanna be in jail. Now they thought and that somebody finna play with your ass. They took the word old lady gang literally right. down there in East Point. <laughs> Listen. Now you well, know damn well they, they need to have that thing well, downtown. Well, with shot, he wanted to be fucked, girl. That's why he wasn't that. No, it wasn't even about him being fucked. They need he to, have, to go to jail. Candy need to have that play. Need to move that old lady game right there where Gladys not used to be. At least, at least she I'm, got two locations. Well, she need to move that one from over there, East Point. <laughs> no, Camp Creek is cool. She need to move that downtown. Camp Creek really not no bad area though. I mean, it's cool. Like that's what it. Fake the people over there think got money, like they got the little. You know. I get it, but you see, they walks in there with their AR 37, 57s, and all hello. this hello. stuff. They can walk anywhere with guns. They can. They could have been, been in Houston. You seen? Wait a minute. Why you talking? You remember Papa Do's? That man got shot outside Papa Do's? But it was outside Papa Do's. They came inside Old Lady Gang and handled yeah. that. Well, Candy, you got to get some We're better bad. security. They got to get better security. <laughs> they need to be warning that stuff down. Black folks can't have shit no more. Mm -mm. She need to move that thing down there with uh, Gladys Knight. She need Knight to turn white. Like, I mean, not white, but she need to turn American like me. Girl, she... <laughs> she I'm trying to help out these goddamn motherfuckers who don't want to be saved. So turn American like me. That's I'm trying, trying to be, be all saved. I can be. You feel what I'm... That don't want to be saved. She <laughs> need to move that bitch down there with Gladys Knight. Old place used to be at least... Somebody's in Gladys Knight old yeah, building. It is. Yeah, you know, um... um Oh, Crab I ain't never queen. been down there. Blame it on K-Way. You know the boy who funny who be in Tyler Perry movies and stuff? Yeah, quite. He, quite. Uh, you got to pay for your food for it come out. Oh. You lying. See, all them black folk done ran off on the tab out there. You know what I'm saying? It's always something yeah, with y'all black folk. Out. What y'all black folk gonna stop? Well, is the rating still a C or is it? <laughs> well. Is that, is that the uh, was it, department? Was it a C who rating? Who got a C? Atlanta, was it a C rating? Who had a C, girl? Crab girl. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Crab queen. Crab queen. Who has a seat? I don't know. <laughs> oh, don't back, back that on that. Oh, I ain't gonna back that. <laughs> Quiet well, as kept. I don't kept, even want to go for it. Quiet as kept. I heard all ass got seeds. <laughs> well, I don't know her. I just pray. On them. I just go pray and eat. Like okay, so Quiet as a scout. I pray. And as loud as we go, as loud as we go say, I heard all ass got a C well, rating. Some of these motherfuckers got an A. They nasty. <laughs> who next on our docket? <laughs> Put some right. fat back in them grease next time. <laughs> Maddie, you ain't right. Somebody, everybody got to see. <laughs> I can't believe you, sis. And I bet you said it be eating the seeds. They don't show too, but they still got a motherfucking see. <laughs> hey, y'all. Put some fat back in them grease next time. So Sit in them grease out there, dry as hell like that. I'm People just so mad. So <laughs> People upset. Even the biggest mad about the grease. <laughs> I'm so ready for my neck to be gone. Oh, you talking about my motherfucking neck? Mm-mm. Cool. Mm -hmm. Goddamn C, not shit. Mm. I gotta stop eating this. So shit. you ain't never went down there at night? Well. At the old lady game. I like old lady game. No, the question was, have you been down there to eat? Yeah. You sat in there and ate? Both places. Yeah, after the both of us spots. It was good. It was. The greens are good. The fried chicken is good too. They had fat back in there? Mm -mm. Uh -uh. I know they ain't have no fat that. back in. I but know I'm no fat back in. Good. I mean, she got these little rib things. That's uh -huh. good. She got a couple good little entrees. Have you ate that? Mm -mm. Okay, well, you can't talk about it. And yeah. I had a plate brought to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with your motherfucking head. It'd be like. I done had a plate brought, had to, a brought to me. I mean. Mm -hmm. How you think I know ain't no fat back in the green? <laughs> <laughs> but no collard green was okay though. You done been around here eating food, you ain't you? Well, my mama done been there stomping that motherfucker out. Yes, I have. But it's everybody a, not your goddamn mama. It's a difference in taste. But ain't everybody it? not your mama. I though. know that, but they the old I ladies. <laughs> my, they older than my mama. <laughs> and as you older than my mama, you know damn well you supposed to put some fat back <laughs> in the motherfucking green. Everybody don't eat fat. Hold on. Yeah. Everybody don't eat fat back. Well, you better put some smoked turkey in that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, I need another drink. You better put... Here, I pour it. I pour uh, it for you. You ain't drinking what I'm drinking. I pour it for you. You ain't drinking what I'm drinking. Craig made me a special kick. <laughs> Craig, what you put that some quail? You put some love in here. <laughs> you put some love in my drink. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, listen, let me stop being funny because that was not, that was, that was shit is still, it, it was funny what I was saying, <laughs> it but was you know. funny, but mad at love you, Candy. I ain't got no issue with Candy. Let me tell you something. Candy was the first person to let me be on her Candy Code at Night. I was the first transgender woman to ever be on Candy Code at Night. Cute. Very, I was the first one. And um, Candy showed me love. 
and she had a panel of of of, of tra gay and lesbian and transgender people on it. And this this happened in the year two. I met Candy in two thousand and eleven. It was two thousand. 10 going into 2000 or 2011 going into 12 somewhere in that area mm. and i met candy and i was on her candy coat tonight they treated me very nice or whatever even when me and old, old girl was together before you know i wasn't really the throw out reason right but right. we really wasn't thrown out I, I keep saying that before they didn't toss us out they just told us that we couldn't do the do that the other uh, whatever you know right. but you know whatever and i ain't got no ill no ill will to us candy you feel what i'm saying she's a sweet girl she all right she's a sweet woman she all right. know she's a sweet woman for real you she all right. know her. she's sweet she's I did, no, you know now it was not she treated they were good you know it was a couple no, things i ain't really like it was she's a couple a sweet things person. i, I like know when we were sitting there on that i show. know her she's a sweet person it was a couple of things I ain't like when we were sitting there on the damn candy coat at night. I ain't like it was a couple of look, you know, well, unnecessary little pies thrown. I was like, all right. What well, she's talking about, everybody I know tonight. <laughs> well, this wasn't going on in the news. Every First time you come out here, you know everybody. Candy, goddamn, oh my god. And then Wendy. <laughs> now you know damn well when the needs compression socks. Don't play. <laughs> Woo! Don't act like that woman don't need no compression socks. Sir. Wendy been through a lot. <laughs> <laughs> She do. Shit. She's doing a goddamn job. Leave the bitch alone. All right, Craig, you got a drink. What this is, I need to post some of this in my cup. Yes, sir. It's good, bitch. Uh-uh. All, right. <laughs> All right, next up on the court ledger, Dwayne Wade. Cold. Oh, let me be quiet. Get into this, because I want to talk about it. Dwayne Wade supports his decision, his child's decision to live her life as a girl, although she was born a male. I thought she was born a girl. Yeah, let's roll this footage. Don't even think about that, you know, just be true to yourself because are you really even like it's what's the point of being on this earth if you're going to try to be someone you're not? It's like you're not even living as yourself, which is like the dumbest concept to me. It's just like, you know, be true and don't really care what like the stereotypical way of like being you is. Even when people are being mean, and even when when people are getting hurt sure. uh, by because they're trying to be themselves and even even through that you still want people to make sure that they live their truth yeah i think i'm i know it can get tough definitely yeah but i think you push through and you be the best you and especially like especially more recently like it's become a more accepting even though there's you know obviously a lot of people out there who still are really upset you know more in the like back in their days way of mind but i think even through hard times just you gotta you gotta just push through I mean, like, it's worth it. I feel like it's very worth it when you reach that point of, like, yourself. I'm feeling free. Yeah. I'm feeling like you. Yeah. I feel like you don't have to hide. Like, you, mean, you can look in the mirror and, like, say, like, hi to yourself. Like, mm. nice to meet you. Mm. Instead of, like, mm, I don't really know who I am. Mm. It's like a full identity crisis. Mm. Hi, welcome back to the T.S. Madison Show. <laughs> Maddie. It's going through an emotional breakdown right now. I don't know what the fuck going on. She watched the baby video and I looked down and this was going on. Maddie, are you you don't need no tissue. No. You ain't crying. Hell no. You ain't hear that old lady talking. That's a whole grown ass woman. I'ma tell y'all something. I just really watched that. Craig, thank you for putting it because this is my first time That's actually watching. That's a grown watching. woman, ain't it? That little girl is grown. That little girl grown. That little girl professional. She's professional. She's, she's sophisticated. Clear sophisticated. About she clear, clear about, about who, she who she is. She, she, look, she got her little haircut. She rich as fuck. Right. She got her motherfucking yeah. nails on. Let she let y'all know. <laughs> bitch, don't play with me. Right. I am a girl, bitch. That's right. What she saying, sir? I am a girl, I'm bitch. a woman. I'm a woman. Bitch. Right. Bitch. And you better live in your motherfucking truth, because I am. That's right. I fuck with you, little girl. Now, <laughs> I do, too. Little girl, you want to be a little girl? You a little girl in my book. Let's toast it. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you have worn your woman rights. Fuck it, you talking about Hey, period. niece. It, hey, niece, you cannot take. Okay, that's a niece. That's a niece. That's a girl. That's a niece, that's a daughter. Man, that is a whole woman, y'all. This is my first time actually really watching that. She's a whole girl. Now, Chi Chi was showing me something the other day. It was showing me, it, he was showing me something about children, but I didn't see it. You didn't, you didn't bring it up with you? Damn. No, what it was was Chi Chi was showing me all of the uh, the men, the, the the rappers and stuff whose kids are. Oh, they said that was fake. Oh, that was fake. Oh, I'm sorry. I won't touch it again. We don't want to do any fake. I don't have any time for any of those things, girl. Cause we, cause we, we over here 
our real show. Period. I'm gonna call you soon as I'm finished. Girl, wait, that's my hamburger. I want it. It's my weed, man. Oh, mm. bitch. <laughs> it's her weed, man. Tell me some Pochito smoke, girl. Right. All right. Fuck so here's y'all. the thing. Stay out my bin. You got shit dying to stay out mine. Here's the thing. The... I ain't putting none of y'all bastards in my bin. That's right. Here's so the thing. What I got going on, ain't, got a... ain't going to make you it's, shit it's out of here. And speaking of putting people in the business, here's the thing. The people out there are, have a lot to say, and they have a lot to say because the family was open to the public with what they had to say about the whole situation. They were open they to mama it. mama not happy about this shit. Who mama? That little boy mama. Who is binging? Who? The little boy? Who? Gabrielle? She not the mama. Oh, you talking about the mom? The, bir- the, the real mother- motherfucking mama don't appreciate. Let me get in. Let me help you out about her. Yeah, help me. <laughs> she don't appreciate none of this shit. <laughs> she might be opening up to it now because it's just her, but uh-uh. She not with none of that what shit. What she said, so tell me. She, she a preacher. She ain't with it. Oh, she's a fuck. Oh, there it is. She not with that shit. She ain't. She didn't accept it at first. Maybe she had started accepting it now because the whole world is accepting it, but she didn't appreciate that shit. That's some, that's some, that's, that's some folk that appreciate it. They open him up, but it's only right. I feel like it's right that people tell who they are at young ages. So therefore, you won't have all these kids running around with a man who never wanted you. If you would just let these folk be free when they young, because that's a whole little girl. Mm-hmm. You see it in her. whole spirit. Okay. It's a woman. That's a woman. I'm not even calling that no little boy no more. It's a girl. Yeah. You see it. That bitch say hey. <laughs> yeah. A very sophisticated. She's a right. actually she's a sophisticated. She's a very sophisticated, sof- sophisticated, sophisticated black woman. <laughs> yeah. She's an she's Obama. A, she's, she's definitely she's, a Michelle she's, she's Obama. Definitely ass. a Michelle Obama. Definitely Michelle Obama is. <laughs> she gave me grown vibes. Very much so. People have to be able to be free and be their self. You know, with her glasses on? She's very with her glasses. She was on very the much... motherfucking golf course? Yes. Stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can leave her alone. After we do these things. Hey, niece, after I we do love these... you, niece. I want you to continue on doing what you do. Uh huh. Being being a who you are, you know, and living your truth, you know? It's a good thing that you're coming out living your truth because a lot of people weren't able to live their truth. So I support you. I respect you. I love you. Keep up the good work. You know what I'm saying? And fuck what people got to say about you. But practice safe sex, period. Oh, all right. Yeah. Listen, and to the people out there that got so much. She yeah, she started her, the, the fingernails on it. This is just it ain't soon to call for all of you know what nails do. Look how long your nails is. Look how long, man. You know we suck it. I ain't sucking no dick. You don't know more. I don't like it. Then what do you like, Shakana? I just don't like sucking dick. They just don't work. It don't work she for don't me. Like and I don't like oral sex. My God, today we will touch on this when we get to the to the to the newsroom. We're but we're not there yet. We're gonna be in the newsroom <laughs> after after we get to uh, after the mothers. Who do you have next? All right, Kevin Gates. Oh. Kevin Gates gives his daughter a semi-automatic gun. His daughter? The baby young. Well, there she go. Oh. <laughs> your baby? No, you didn't say, oh, like this your first time? Yeah, that's for your baby. Yeah, that's for your baby. Yeah, that's for your baby. Is there any volume mode? Perfect. Yeah, that's for your baby. I guess he getting no ready. Perfect. Yeah, that's Do we? Are we, are we going to have to slide back to that? So is there any volume on it? I ain't no volume. Cause it's well, let's go back and look at the clip again. Let's go back more to the clip. Yeah, that's volume. Yeah. All I want to know what the fuck is an eight-year-old doing with a motherfucking salt rock? Yeah, shit. Right. She finna fuck somebody up. They better hope she don't turn around and kill their ass. All right. So let's see. Let's go. Hey, baby. Yeah, that's for you, baby. Yeah, that's for you, baby. Yeah, that's for you, baby. Yeah, that's oh, what you're about. Oh, she's so smart. She said it's perfect. She said it's perfect. <laughs> perfect. They fuck their ass up when they get out of line. Mm-hmm. I mean, would you give your, your eight-year-old daughter? I'm scared of these goddamn children. They ain't no children like the children of the corn. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I ain't finna get them shit to kill me. Hell no. Nah. You gotta be careful with these children. You don't see these new, kid, new age kids. I see what these new age shit. kids. You just seen it. Auntie. Yeah. Niece? Yeah, niece. Niece a grown woman. Niece is a grown woman. Don't, 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 don't tell me nobody ain't true. These got spirits on them. I would've gave my child no goddamn gun. When she get when I say you can't go outside, the bitch gonna get that gun and come on back. What you said, motherfucker? What you? Daddy, did you I can't go where bitch? <laughs> I can't go where fuck nigga. <laughs> 
Fuck nigga, you said I can't I ain't do what? fucking with these children. Hey, fuck that I ain't fucking with these children. You ain't fucking with the kids. Hell no, nah, you fucking with them. Hell no. Nah, not you with no motherfucker walk around no, with no AR. Most of the little kids that's killing that, you know, 16 to 15 years old, they gonna kill your ass. Fuck nigga, what? what? I can't go to the park. You can go. <laughs> Get the hell out. Fuck off. nigga, I can't have no waffles this morning. Woo. Fuck nigga, you mean to tell me the nanny ain't gonna motherfucker make my bed? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck nigga, you made me like this. I'm just thinking about if I had a child doing some shit like that to me. What? what I would do. Oh. I just don't know what I'd do. You don't? No. I'd probably be in jail. You wouldn't even whoop her. Would I whoop her? I don't even think you understand whoop. Man, that bitch gonna be in the backyard dead. What <laughs> fuck is you talking about whoop? I'm gonna be in the top car. Kind of yes, that bitch kept disrespecting me. Was it defiant? I beat the bitch to sleep. She back there in the backyard. Even with yeah, the AR-37? Even with that, I'm going to beat her ass with the AR-37. Bitch, pull a gun out on me. That one ain't got no cheer. I don't want to play. I know all your tricks. I know what you're thinking about. Bitch, I done been there and done it. I don't want to play with no cheer. Oh. Uh, what, right. what about you? Well, listen. We're living in really dangerous times. Uh, there are people snatching kids. Who done been snatched now? <laughs> Who done been snatched now? I mean, God damn, I thought they had gave up on the, 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 the white vans snatching folks up. Well, they be snatching. Don't they still snatch children? Mm -hmm. All right, so the children need to protect themselves. Let the children be protected. Oh. Shit, I'm going to get my niece an AR-37. I ain't buying my kids shit. <laughs> <laughs> they better go on. They better put some God in their life. They on the way to the church. They, I mean, on the way to school, they better pray. And have faith they ass going to make it back. A Florida teacher was charged with child abuse. No. She knocked out a seven-year-old's tooth. See, this is why she supposed to have that gun. Right. This it right here. This is the reason why that she supposed to have her AR-37. Florida it's teacher charged with child that, abuse. It, it, look, it's some demons on that lady. Clearly, they shouldn't have her in no school. Look at her. Go back. Go back to the lady. Go back to her. You say it's demons on her? Look at her. That bitch stressed out. <laughs> she ain't had no business around no goddamn church. Is she even human? She, she human? giving me she, no, she ain't she giving me another species. Yeah. What is she? I don't know. Is she an alien? Well whatever she did, she knocked the seven year old too far. Something going on with that bitch though. Look at her face. The, the bitch, she ain't had no business. <laughs> she ain't had no business slapping on church. You don't put your hand on about the chair. No, you don't. She in jail. No, she didn't. She 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 need to go to jail. That AR thirty seven supposed to be on her ass. We're not going. Fuck to nigga, you just knocked my teeth out. Uh uh, we ain't encouraging that, man. That little seven year fuck nigga, did you just knock out my teeth? Man, we not encouraging Bitch that. Bitch ass, whole hey, ass. Kids, do not fuck take nigga. Look, children, listen. Enough, y'all been take, taking guns to school. Please don't take no gun to school. It's not right. They got a place for you. Where is the place? They going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> do not. <laughs> Please do not take. Are they gonna shoot your ass down? Don't take no guns to school, y'all, okay? Don't kill your classmates. Let them live. I promise you in 10 years, you won't even know the motherfuckers. Don't take no guns to school. Please. All right. Please. So. These fuckers killing me. You need to leave it out? Okay. Former mayoral, mayoral, mayoral candidate posed as a baby photographer to drug mother and steal her newborn, according to Hollywood Unlocked. What? I don't know what done went on in your life that you get down so bad that make you so bad that one, you run for mayor. Two, that you steal somebody, baby. You pose as a photographer? Like, I steal somebody, baby. Wait a minute. That means she poses as a photographer, photographer. Like, hey, we do baby pictures over here. And then stole these folks. And then stole this. They were saying she was poisoning them too. Like she was giving them something. Bitch, why what? are you so depressed, bitch? What is going on? They got kids out here that want to be adopted, bitch. Why you just didn't go? You, you running for the mayor? Why you just didn't go adopt the child? I'm sure you're not on drugs if you're running for the mayor. Like, why would you do that? It's a, see, it's that chemical imbalance shit for There's me. There's something going on in the water. Yeah, it's the chemical imbalance. What city she was nobody, running for mayor? I don't mayor. Want nobody motherfucking children. This was in, uh, it was in Colorado. I don't know. Oh, you God know, damn. You don't know the child's sick. Was it Colorado around? Springs, Colorado? I'm not sure what city. I just know it was Colorado. My God today. That ain't right, Maddie. Like, it's not. 
I'm not taking your baby, much less trying to steal it. I don't even want to hold it long. Dear God in heaven, and this is my thing, right? Mm, what's your thing? What do you got to pose? How you go from a man to a fake photographer? Why would you take them people baby, bitch? <laughs> right! Period. I can't even get on the fact that you got enough time in your day to take a baby. Who the fuck wants somebody? Who wanna be bothered somebody to cheer? Who the fuck is posing as a photographer? To take a baby. To take a baby. God damn. Damn it. The bitch would have been better off playing one of them nurses down there at the hospital like that lady did on that Lifetime movie. No, that bitch would have been better been off. It's so many kids. Listen, there's so many kids out here that need some home. If you want kids that bad, you should go adopt one. They got... Um, oh, baby's day out. <laughs> oh, okay. Which baby day out? I don't know. She's, <laughs> you know you're a teacher. You know you're a teacher been smoking the same shit. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, she's just smart with that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so she might have been taking the baby for ransom. All right, Chi Chi, thank you for clearing that up for us, daughter. Okay, sister. Boom. Bow. <laughs> Do you want some? Y'all better stop picking up these fucking people cheering. You don't even know what the cheering sick with. Okay. Been up fucking around and got a child sick with that pack. That girl been, uh, had that coronavirus. Yeah, y'all been leading the right. cheering along. Bitch. What about if you pick up a child that's a demon for real? Like, really Lucifer. You, you get that motherfucker. I'm just saying, you get that motherfucker in the head, start spinning around. What you gonna do? The head start spinning around. Is you gonna take it take back? Is you gonna keep? Take me home, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> take me home right now, right now, motherfucker. <laughs> Girl, I'm laughing too much. I'm right, motherfucker, tonight. now, crazy. bitch, take me home. Now. Yeah. I set your motherfucking ass on fire, bitch. Uh, Show me the fire. Bitch. Fire. All right, speaking of fire, Cynthia Bailey's daughter shows off her new girlfriend. Oh. Cynthia, Bailey, <laughs> Cynthia Bailey's daughter, Noelle Robinson, introduces her girlfriend to the family after coming out as bisexual. Well, all right. All right. Shit, that shit just made me yawn, Noel. All right. Welcome to the family. Hey. Welcome to the family, daughter. Congratulations, sister. Yes, ma'am, honey. It's one thing to do is live in your truth. This is 2020. Live your truth, baby. Live it to the end. Well, at least you got somebody who wants you. Because a lot of these women running around here want these men and they don't want them. Here she go with the bullshit. <laughs> So at least you got you a sister girl. Here she go. A woman burned while having dinner at a hibachi style restaurant. Where did this shit come from? Damn! This happened in Arkansas. In Arkansas, they don't know how to do hibachi. <laughs> they said that, according to the story, it said that the, uh, the grill exploded. God oh, damn! A oh. woman leaves a hibachi restaurant with first, second, third, fourth, and sixth degree burns on her face. Chicken going to get What's something to eat? God damn, she went down there to the Benny Hottas. Benny Hottas, y'all need to be ashamed of yourself doing that shit. It wasn't a lot of ceremony now. Oh. But, um, Do they still got the yum yum sauce? Yeah, they still got yum yum, but it's like... It's not the people that's supposed to cook. It's like a lot of different kind of people cooking food. But they said no. It ain't Japanese. They ain't Japanese people doing it. No, they black. Remember what? Oh. <laughs> so they black and me? They black and me. Oh. Look, let me tell y'all something. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, lady, for your face getting caught on fire. And that shit happening to you. Uh -huh. Because when I got burnt up in Dubai, you see those burn and stuff. I just thought my life was over. So and that I was in just, Dubai that happened. Yes, and I could just only imagine how, you know, you feel it right now. But I just want to let you know that things do get better. God is healing me, girl, day by day, so don't get too stressed. Well, what happened to you in Dubai? Bitch, I was, I was balling. I fell off a bike. I didn't get hurt. I fell off a bike having fun. But I enjoyed my life. Yes, I was in Dubai balling, bitch. <laughs> how long ago was These that? These are balling wounds, okay? How long ago was that? Two years ago. About a year and a half ago, two years ago. But I just know that burning shit ain't in the play with. Mm -hmm. Like it's the worst pain in your life. I just I thank God that I'm through it. I can just remember sitting there like, Lord, please let it I don't feel the pain no more. Like burns is nothing to play with. So anybody that don't burn it, yes. my heart goes out to y'all. Yeah, I don't even want to play with that. Have you ever been burnt? Which type? <laughs> <laughs> now you set me up for that joke. That was a joke. That, that was a joke, girl. That was a joke. <laughs> But no, I haven't been. Well, I've been burned by iron. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what this shit feel like. Yeah, yeah. That shit ain't no joke. Yeah. 
right, so ladies and gentlemen, we're coming down to the part that I wanted to do. We are headed to the newsroom. The newsroom. Take us to the newsroom, Mo. We're going to the newsroom. We're going baby. to the newsroom, honey. <laughs> Boom! What's up, everybody? This is your girl, T.S. Madison, and welcome to the newsroom. And this is your girl, Shekana Joe, and I'm here on T.S. Madison's show at the newsroom. At the newsroom, and this is the thing. shekana has been waiting for this all night long. Yes. So let's go back over, since we since we did the cases, we're going to go back over, and we're going to add this to the newsroom. One, you said about men and women. In a, so, Shekana, go ahead. Go ahead, girl. What you want? I want what you're giving. What part? Shekana, all men are not gay. Yes, they are. That is not news. All men. This, here's the news. Of you fuckers are Here gay. is the news. All men are not 90 gay. 90% of you fuckers are gay. <laughs> all men are not gay. 90% and just because of a you man, fuckers are gay. And just because a Stop man. Stop playing with these women. Let them know you don't want us. Stop. Just because stop, a man's G spot is in his butt, and he has been getting fucked. Does not mean so. He, look, women at home, you winning if you play your man's ass. You winning. Get a deal door, fuck him sometime. He might stay there. <laughs> Stick your thumb in his butt. He might stay there. His G spot is in his ass. She just proved it. It is. So that mean that ass be thriving. <laughs> it go do 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 do. That like a heartbeat. That would it be the light, don't it? I don't know. Uh, a man's G spot is in his ass, but that does not make him homosexual. Listen, what? Your butt be thriving. Uh -uh. You a lie, bitch. <laughs> do it, thaw. Craig. What? Your shit, thaw. No. You never felt the dump. Well, Shakata, I'm gonna gift you something. So nobody's tonight. gonna be real and say that this shit. I'm gonna gift you something tonight. You ain't giving me that. Tonight I'm gonna I give Shakata this, this right shit here. Herself. I'm gonna give Shakata. I this. don't want that because ain't nobody going to my booty hole. It's my booty ain't goddamn fuckable. For. It ain't fuckable with. Ain't nobody sodomizing me. It's called Big Boy. Big Boy won't go, go up in Shakata Joe ass. Big Boy. Uh -uh. <laughs> It's called Big Boy Original I Butt I don't grease. even like big dicks, so you ain't got to worry about that going on. Nothing in me, part of me. And my booty, uh-uh. So, I don't play with that booty. I tried to fuck in my ass this year so bad, I ain't fucking in my booty. <laughs> so when I... Oh! God oh, damn it, oh, Maddie. No. You need to start talking about them dicks in the booty. Well, the shit right. was, it was so greasy, it's so slippery, it slipped right off the table. <laughs> Chichi, grab the butt grease. Let the butt grease stay low. Let we the butt need grease. It. Give we me the butt grease. That. Nobody don't need that goddamn butt We're grease. We gonna put the butt grease right here. But to all you women and men who want to be fucked and looking for some good lube, go get butt grease. <laughs> I don't need it. Maddie don't need it. We don't even use this. Wait a minute. Somebody been using this motherfucker. Well, it ain't me. <laughs> Chichi, you been using the butt grease. Chichi Maybe. been you. Oh, you had Chichi. God damn it. What it made? What it made you feel like? Shikana, have you ever uh. been? Do you feel that you've been with a gay man before? Do you feel that you have? <laughs> Cry. Let me get some tissue. <laughs> Do you feel that you've been with a gay man before? They're all gay. I have to. <laughs> God, I have to. Yeah. <laughs> Not today. I can't with you. I ain't been with a gay man before, too. I ain't been with no gay man normally. But I think they all gay, so I don't know. I think maybe a couple of them were gay. <laughs> so what made you feel that way? Was it when you... What happened that made you feel that they was gay, Chicago? Because they have to have so many women. So you know, there's so many women, it got to be a man. That's a lie. It's not a lie. It's not true. It's so true. It's not true. Why do you have to have so many women? They all got hoes. It's not true. Yes, it is. It's not true. So they have women and, and they it's have men. It's not true, Chicago. Yes, it is, It's man. not true. Yes. Yeah. Hey, fuck all y'all. <laughs> These men are gay. No, they are not. Yes, y'all are. And I said it. Y'all gay. And I want all the women to know y'all gay. And I want all the women to know stop wasting their time on y'all motherfucking asses. Because you got to have six women and a boyfriend. It ain't just the women no more. So, this shit bigger than that. So, Shekana, who did it? And boy pussy cost my lord than girl pussy. Who did it, Shekana? Who did what? Society, did bitch. Who made you feel this way? You. Ha! Because you did. How you want to blame this on me? 
Why would you say it? Because I told you that the G spot. You dirty as fuck. They act like you ain't do this shit. You get I it. told you the man's G spot. Yeah, look, Maddie is the one who opened me up to believe how I believe. Sure is. Because Maddie I, Perez, Alonzo, Chloe. Because the G spot. Willie the, Alexander. My God, today. Um, you don't want me to keep going. All of my gay friends need down love, but Tommy. Who? Tommy, all these, all these boys. Who is y'all Tommy? Be, y'all be fucking my gay friends, and y'all don't be thinking I be knowing. And when y'all be calling my gay friends sometimes, allegedly my motherfucking ass, it's real. <laughs> and when y'all be calling my goddamn gay friends sometimes, I be sitting right there. And I be like, oh. oh my God. And then y'all be like, what's up, nephew? What's up, cuz? Oh. Well, you ain't never been over here, no man called me. Well, I ain't talking about you. You told me some more shit. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I was that supposed to write on that page. <laughs> <laughs> See, you got me over here drunk on this shit. I was, I'm, I'm so disrespecting G Code. I'm so sorry to all my gay friends. I'm sorry, but it has to stop. What got to stop? Like, all this download shit. So what do you want a man to do? Keep it real. Shakana, do you know that you you make it impossible? You make it and, and the, I make it impossible to keep it real because you want to. What what are they? Do you Why want, is it that when some like a lot of my gay friends feel like it's cool if they fucking a down low man? Like they love it. It gets their dick even harder. It makes their ass even wetter. Well, like girl, he got a wife and kids. Oh, and I just no, he just love me too. I send him home to that bitch. He'll be back in the morning. No, but women do that with other women, bitch. You've never been a you've never been a man eater. <laughs> What's a man eater? Kim Kardashian. She's a man eater. Uh, her all the Kardashian sisters they're man eaters. What's a man eater though? Alicia Keys, man eater. What is a man eater? What was Swiss Beats before he was before he was Alicia Keys? He was married. Man eater. <laughs> oh, so she took some out of hood. So eats. Oh. So have you ever been a man eater? No, mm -hmm. I ain't took nobody man. Have you been a man eater, Shakana Joe? I have not took nobody man. No, you may not have taken man eater. Did you ever participate with a man that was married? Uh oh, right. I did. Mm -hmm. Are you a man eater? It was wrong, and I, and, I, and I asked God to forgive me for my wrong. <laughs> and I don't fuck with married men no more. That was like years ago, like five or six years ago. It was wrong. He has some good so dick, here we go. So we can't talk yeah, about. Oh my god! There we go. Here she go talk about the good dick. So so now you understand about the DL stuff. You don't well, get he the. Had some good good. Oh, you now up. so devil's and advocate here. Up. We're I in the newsroom, honey. What? And guess what? This he, is news to he, the people. Bitch, he was separated, huh? He said he was separated. He married. said that. He said it. They yeah. always say these things. Men but lie. I just know, I just know back then, y'all took me down. They lie. Like, you took me down memory lane. It's like six, seven years ago. But I'm just saying. You know, I, oh. Yeah. Right I could fuck that man in the park. I can fuck him well. So, uh, <laughs> it was just something about him. Like, I could be sitting in my living well, room. Well, that's a DL relationship. I, I could be sitting in my living room. That's a DL bitch, relationship. That's a, it, was a, it was an intimate relationship. That's a Listen, DL. <laughs> I could be sitting in my living room, like, all of a sudden here, and I fuck him in the next room, next door, with no one. I just go jump on this shit and jump off. Meaning, that is a DL relationship. It went DL, bitch, because we was in the open. When the last time you talked to him? I ain't talked to him, man, like four or five years. Why, is it, why did you stop? There's nothing to talk about. I mean, why did y'all stop communicating? Because we just kind of, people outgrow each other. Oh. And it was outgrowing for me. Yeah. And plus, I just. What, the jumping part? What? So my thing is. Part? No, here it is. So I need that. It was so powerful. <laughs> so was he, so it. was he gay? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if he was gay or not. I don't, I don't know what these men are doing. I guess this time I have sex. I'm like, hey, whenever that be, I'm going to have to put my finger in somebody's ass and see what's going on. My God today. Yeah, your God gay. today. Oh, it don't mean he gay if I can put my finger up his ass? No. You a damn lie. Shakara, yeah, no, yes, it does. Yes, it do. No, it it do, brother. He going to sit there and let me play with that booty. I mean, that bitch is gay. I don't have a fuck. What you talking about? Oh it does not mean no, that. Shakana, listen, I brought you to the newsroom because we I'm trying to get we trying to give the y'all trying to redo the game and it ain't We right. trying to give the news to the people. The people need to be it's okay for you to, if you if a man gets some thumbs in his butt, he ain't gay. If he right. enjoys it, no. So this is my question to you, Shakana. Y'all a damn lie. Y'all need to put that If a man up. puts his penis inside of a woman's ass, do you think he'll fuck a man in the ass? Yep. Yeah. He wants a he wants a peanut butter and jelly. Shakana, you crazy. You crazy. He wants some peanut butter. 
If a man stick his dick inside he, of another woman's ass, in, a, in a woman's he, ass, he in a woman's want, ass, he want some boy you pussy. Said you, you, you said you got fucked in the ass. Never. I said I tried to get fucked in the ass, and I couldn't take it. It was goddamn. I like to die. I don't never want to feel that pain again. So, I don't see how, how a lot of people so get fucked in the ass. Man, okay, so would you think the man who fucked you in the ass would he fuck another man in the ass? Yeah, he would. I don't believe that. He wanted to sodomize me. He believed in having, making pain come. <laughs> A lot of these men be fucking y'all in y'all because they want to see you in pain. Shakana, do you understand that a man, a, 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 a man shit. anatomy and a woman's anatomy is completely different? Well, do you know that. you got an asshole? Well, a woman just by that. Do you know a woman got an asshole? And Can you Google that? Do you know a woman has an asshole? That don't nut. A man has an asshole. But the man do you asshole understand? Nuts. The man asshole don't nut? Yes, it do. They say you get an orgasm through your ass. So what are we having sex for? <laughs> Fuck that. What are we fucking for? If you Do you me, know that a man who fucks a woman in the booty don't necessarily mean he'll fuck a man in the ass? Because at the end of the day, I fuck a nigga in the ass. But I ain't gonna fuck no woman. You will. In the ass? You a no. bitch. I've been paying you some attention. <laughs> a bitch ain't get it. You like your dick suck. You know, I do. Bitch can't get. But I'm just saying. The right bitch suck that dick is over. <laughs> Let her get on that motherfucker. You see how Anna was up there? Mm. Shekana. Maddie. Attraction is different. You will let somebody suck that dick? Yes. You wouldn't let a woman suck that dick? No. Lie. Because I feel like a woman <laughs> is my sister. <laughs> She'll be your sister. You'll be gay that night. We'll be lesbian? Yeah. Shit. You go There's lady. too many breasts. Nah, bitch. <laughs> There's too many breasts and in here. If that bitch get on that dick the right way, how you like to get your dick up? Uh -huh. It's gonna be over with. Chicana. You might be calling that hoe back for thirds. So you see how you been all over in front of me? I'm admiring that you have a big, a big, at? beautiful, Where big, at? beautiful, chunky ass. I really persuaded I could fuck you. Has she go every so every <laughs> show she come up here, she want to lay it down and bust it down right no, now. I just want you to know. Chicago, just get the scrap. But you a beautiful girl. I would fuck you. You could be my girlfriend. Because you cute. You look like me. See how she come over here enticing me. <laughs> <laughs> she come over here enticing me every fucking, fucking segment. God damn it. I ain't drinking no more tequila. I may wake up. This bitch might be. We might wake up. That's your eyelashes laying on top of each other. <laughs> Oh, shit. Eyelashes laying on top of each other. Matter the stunts her dick in my mouth. I'm like, oh my god, this girl, done, oh my sister, girl, we done did a lesbian act. And we'll do it again. Oh shit. Ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end of our show. At the end of our show, honey, we got one gotta go. God one. damn it, one got oh, oh shit. shit. Girl. All right, the one gotta go. We're talking about queens of reality television. On this situation right here, we got New York Tiffany Parlor. Tiffany New York Parlor. We got Amarosa. Amarosa gotta go. We got Jocelyn Hernandez. Amarosa the one gotta go. And Nene Lee. Amarosa, who you say? I would say, to be honest with you, Amarosa. Amarosa, that Amarosa, Amarosa gotta go. She gotta go. The rest of these folks, I swear. Amarosa has to go. Amarosa is just so. First of all, we not even finna act like Tiffany New York pilot bitch ain't the reason why those girls exist. Right. Yeah. So Tiffany can't go no motherfucking way. Tiffany, well. thank you. You're the reason I exist. If it wouldn't have been for you, Flavor Love, and Reality TV, we would not be Reality Stars, girl. You did that. Enough people do not give you your props, but I fuck with you. I, the long I way. I fuck with you. Everything that you're doing, I see you, Tiffany. I followed your mama the other day on Instagram. Listen, <laughs> Nene Leaks followed up behind her. Yeah. Nene Leaks is... I followed up behind the first, though. Shekana, you carry on. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Like, <laughs> no, I'm saying you carry it on. Because you have I'm saying I ain't really care. Like, the next person. Like, all these women you see right here, I think I came on TV before them. I think. You was before New York? Not New York, but everybody. And I went before The Princess with, with Trump. But them two at the bottom, I believe. And I was on TV before Jocelyn, for sure. And I'm not sure when Atlanta Housewives came out. We might have came out at the same time. I'm not sure. But I know I was on TV before Jocelyn. Family Hustle came on before that. Sure did. Yeah, I've been. Yeah, it's been a long time. Sure yeah. did. 2012. So, Amarosa do got to go. Yeah, she been gone. <laughs> no shade. I like the old Jocelyn. Man, Jocelyn is crazy. Did you see what she did to Prima Donna? 
But you did you see Prima Donna clap back and made Prima it? Prima Donna clap back, but I'm just saying that she hurt my feelings because you know I'm a little heavy. Go out, and Mo. I didn't appreciate her bringing out that ham to that girl. Wait a minute, what she did? Hold on, go Mo. <laughs> put it back on us. Come on, we in the newsroom now. What happened? I just didn't appreciate Jocelyn. Jocelyn, I didn't appreciate you giving Pre that ham because us heavy girls, both on the thicker side, we don't appreciate that shit. Because you work out all day and you're a workout freak and you can run the beach and do all this shit. That's good for you, Pooh. But you didn't have to do her like that because you hurt me too, bitch. <laughs> Wait a minute. I look like a ham some days. I'm Wait a minute. So she right gave Prima Donna a ham. A motherfucking ham, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I was so pissed off with that bitch. Somebody, here you go, bitch. Welcome to Miami. Girl, <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I would have felt like I didn't watch it. You should go see it. Somebody I, got a clip of that bitch. Let's talk, let's talk about reality TV really quick before we step out of the newsroom. Yes, ma'am, pal. I think reality TV is oversaturated with the same storylines. I think it's oversaturated with the same type of aesthetic. Like everything is kind of patterned after like, okay, you got to throw a wine glass. You got to fight. You I don't pull. fight. I'm a realist. I don't fight. I don't have time. I don't believe in that. I'm going to say what I want to say. But you have been pushed to the limit, to the edge. But I, I didn't fight. I'm a grown ass woman. I called the police. <laughs> I don't have time for that. I'm not getting out here acting like I'm 35 fucking years old. Who the fuck doing that? And you know, a lot of people don't stand up for this shit, but I gotta be the one to take a stand to let women know, you know, this shit ain't it. And I know I touch a lot of hood girls, so I want the hood hoes to know stop. I'm not fighting. Bitch, for what? I had too many surgeries. Foul hit my ass, then what? <laughs> fuck is you talking about? I ain't got time. Foul hit one of the implants, they go left, then what? I ain't got time. But would and you, my little but beautiful would face, defend, I'm, I'm cute, I'm barely making it. But would you defend yourself, though? I'm trying to cut this shit, period. But would you defend yourself if hands was placed on you? With my car? <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck with me, yeah, because my car do turn into a weapon. I ain't lying. Because, you know, it do. It has before, and it will again. Don't fuck with me. But I'm going to try my best to leave. See, I'm big on people always talking about respect, right? People be like, I die about my respect, right? I'm going to die about my respect. Bitch, you got to respect me. No, bitch, you got to respect my money. And fuck you. So which means is, if I got to be around you in this tension, I don't have to be around you. I can, I can leave you. But when you see me again in my paper, going to make you respect me. And I ain't even going to see you and know you. You understand? Mm -hmm. I'm not dying about my respect. That's the point I'm making to you. A lot of people be like, I'm dying about my respect. It's just about respect yourself enough to get the fuck out of that atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? Not dying about no respect, friend. I don't give a fuck about it. All right. Because when I move over here to Italy, a Paris, or where the fuck I'm going to be at, you ain't got to respect me. But they can't put their hands on you. But you can't touch me. I just want to make sure that, they, that you ain't going for the hands being placed on you. Oh, sister. A bitch put her hand on me, I don't know what's going to happen. But if she do put her hand on me, she going to jail too. <laughs> I'm going all the way out like you done motherfucking killed me, bitch. I can't breathe. I can't sleep. God, please. This bitch was an animal. She deserves to be in the penitentiary. She has insulted a real bitch. Get her. Oh, you going to fall all over hey, the ground? Man, I'm, taking, I'm stepping back from you, ho. The one I'm going to talk to too loud, I already stepped back. That bitch, I, you ain't even you ain't worried to touch me. I'm Chicago Joe. And a lot of y'all hoes need to know. Don't never forget that shit. Oh, turn around. Let me see that. I paid the way for a lot of you hoes, believe it or not. Period. <laughs> you hoes could never be my equal. And I love you all. And you mean that. And I mean it. Lean down and tell her because they can't see you. And don't touch me. <laughs> I won't touch you. Keep your motherfucking hands to yourself. You're a grown bitch. <laughs> period. And I love y'all. And man, I'm so big. We need to go work out. We eat. We do. We do. Sister, you can't smoke no more today. I'm finna go smoke now. <laughs> <laughs> well, come down here and tell the people about it. All right, ladies like and gentlemen. How, I like how my body look right now. What you think? Girls, get down here where they can see your cute self telling the vibe. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We done came to the end of our show. She kind of done turned this bitch all over crazy and got me over here crying out my ass, girl. Listen. Shout out to the little girl. You got a pass for us, little girl. Which one with the AR-37? Hell no. Oh. Zam, oh, man. the grown woman. The grown woman. I can't forget about the grown woman. Out of everything we looked at today, the grown woman took me out. Do you still want to be a bottom? Who, me? Yeah. Yeah. Bottom you? Bottom me. Bottom you. You want the top now? Do I want the top right now? Are you on top or are you still bottom? I'm everything. You everything. Uh-huh. Everything me. 
So you're not a bottom no more. Sister, I thought we were bottoms. We are. <laughs> well, Maddie, that let me know. Sister's not a bottom anymore. Craig, what you is? Yeah, Craig, Girl, what are you? Get out of my face. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's we cut to the end of our show. We love you, and we'll see you next week. Bye! <laughs> Mom, you already know what time of day it is, honey. We are going on vacation. Girl, y'all already know we went down there to that Dominican Republic last year and tore that bitch up. But this year, we taking it down there to Mexico, honey. Actually, Riviera Maya, Mexico. And girl, guess who coming with me? Guess, girl. Guess. Huh? You couldn't guess? Well, let me tell you. The cussing pastor. Ha, 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 ha. Thaddeus Matthews will be my guest judge July 10th through the 15th. Honey, I need you to rush over there right now and get your tickets at www.qscvacations.com. That's www.qscvacations.com. And honey, listen, don't meet me there, bitch. Beat me there. I love you. See you in Mexico, girl. Come on here, pastor. Let's get down to business has been a T.S. Madison and R.D.E. Multimedia Group presentation.